Hey, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we're installing PPF for the rear light strip on your Cybertruck. Um, this plastic in particular kind of gets, it's very easily scratched. I can already see swell marks and just work marks from where I've cleaned it and so on. So um, we're going to cover it with PPF. For the video, we're going to be using um, Expel Stealth, which is their matte or satin PPF. Um, we'll also sell gloss, of course. So if you want something you can't see once installed, choose the gloss option. If you want something that gives you kind of a cool frosted effect, um, then choose the stealth or, or satin option. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Pop it open. Ooh, okay. So, in no particular order. Soap solution, so just add water to hydrate that. It's already got the sort of slip concentrate in there. That's for applying the PPF little QR code that links to this video. If you've got this far, then we're good. Um, Double-sided squeegee. So typically the rigid side is um, more for tucking under trim, uh, kind of like that. Um, but you use the felt side, generally speaking, for the PPF piece of the install. Some alcohol wipes to clean it up. And then two sections of PPF. So first is the two um, side lights, the, the indicators. Um, you can left and right, but you can tell which one is left and right. There's a little cut out here. Don't know if that's really coming out on camera, but that's for the wrap around the edge here. And then the obviously long um, center light. If you've already installed our front PPF light strip, um, then this will be a little bit easier because it's not quite so long and not so kind of skinny and unwieldy to handle. But again, you want to install this inside where there's no wind that's going to catch the, uh, the PPF, no dust flying around, and make sure the temperature is fairly good. You just need a bit of patience, so you don't want to become frustrated by, you know, the environment, essentially. So with that said, let's get on with the install. Okay, so you can see the, um, we're on the right side of the side of the truck at the moment, doing this rear light first. Best to start with the edge lights, just to kind of get your eye and get your hand in. I've got the side truck lifted as well, as high as it'll go, just to make the working area a bit more accessible. First thing I'm going to do is give it a clean with one of the alcohol wipes. And maybe you can see in this camera, you can kind of see the micro scratches and stuff already on there. So um, this truck has only done 2,000 miles and all of it has been highway type stuff. So, you know, it's not like it's had a tough life at all. So obviously the truck's pretty clean at the moment. Um, if yours is not, just make sure you clean the area sort of around the light as well, just in case the PPF makes contact. It's definitely not such an issue for the, the side lights, but for the long piece, um, we want to pay attention to it. So again, these are the two pieces, the, the sort of the side with the little um, sort of Pac-Man mouth, that's what gets wrapped around the edge. So we're going to be choosing this side, which of course is the right side. My hands are already clean. I need my soap solution. <clears throat> so spray the target area. Be generous. Spray your fingers. And spray the PPF piece as well. Then we're just going to peel it back at an edge. On the opposite edge to where the, the little cutout is. I'm going to spray that. Just so we're not getting any finger grub on there. Okay, and then just give it another little spray. We don't need a whole lot on this, this piece, just because it's a very simple install, obviously. But you'll see it just kind of sits straight on there. So we want to get the squeegee. So the first thing we're going to do, let's look down this edge, make sure that we're covering all of the, the face of the light. Um, if it's sliding around as it is, then you can sort of maneuver it as much as you need to. So that is pretty good to me. Everything looks nice and even and square. So I'm just going to place one thumb on this side, give it a little swipe, very gentle swipe, just to get some of the, uh, the slip solution out and go back the other way. Okay, so at this point, it's really not moving around too much unless I really gave, a, gave it a good pull. So we're going to now just start to work out all of the air bubbles. In a sec, I'm going to grab just a shop rag just to clear the area so I can see what I'm looking at. Let's do that real quick. Okay, let's just wipe this down. So 
there's something under the film over here. Let's get that out because we don't want anything in there. Don't know what that is. Okay, I got it. Give it another quick spray. Sorry, but it's best you see kind of the warts and all, so much better. Give it a wipe. So now, um, depending how much slip solution we got on the edges, this might wrap around. It may put up a bit of a fight. If it does, then no big deal at all. We're just gonna come back to it later once it's had a chance to um, evaporate a little bit. Well, what I'm gonna do is just take my thumb and just kind of roll it over the edge. You know, doing this heats it up a little bit. It's not as easy as vinyl though, but really we want to make sure that when we do roll it over, we're not sort of leaving any air trapped on this front face. So just kind of almost stretch it over the, the side like that. This is all kind of just with your thumb. Okay, so that's really nice, it's good. And then um, same on this bottom edge as well. Obviously there's a bunch of water kind of hanging around here, so just give it a knock to get the worst of it out. So that just rolls down, then we're going to grab the squeegee and sort of, well, literally squeegee it out some more. And then this last piece just wraps here. So, so as I mentioned, I'm installing this inside. It's, you know, we're in an air conditioned room, which is nice. Um, once you've applied it, ideally don't drive the truck for a, a day, at least leave it, leave it sitting overnight. Um, certainly don't drive it if it's uh, raining or anything outside, because we want to allow this time to go off. And then when you come back to it tomorrow, if you notice any kind of bubbles along here or down here, just work them out with your finger. That's no problem at all. And then, as you can see, let's give it a quick spray just with the soap solution this time. That looks really nice and much, much better than um, the sort of unprotected version. Let's get a better angle on that. It's so difficult to get an angle. You get the idea. So um, let's do the other side real quick and then we will go for the light strip. Okay, over here on the left side, we'll speed through this one just to get it done. So same thing, spray your hands, spray the piece. Carefully put it back from the backer. Spray it some more. Float it on. Make sure you can slip it around nice and easily set the position. Depending on your trim piece, as we all know, I think by now Tesla's trim and precision is uh, a little um, off sometimes. So we're not really looking to tuck it under that trim piece. There is a, a line at the top of the light, which is what we're actually aligning to. So, um, you know, just check the edges, check this piece down here is um, pretty symmetrical and make sure that the, the sort of close on the, on the mouth over here is just past the corner. So we actually need to float it just to the, the left a little bit more to make sure it's nicely positioned. <clears throat> Perfect, okay. As before, grab a squeegee, just hold at one end and then give it a swipe. In terms of difficulty, this installation is very easy. Nothing gets easier than applying PPF on a on a flat surface, so don't be intimidated by it at all. Okay, and we're gonna pull this over the edge again like before. Just kind of tease it around, then almost stretch it around the corner. And then same for this bottom bit, knock out some water if you can. last little wrap around just trying to get ahead of me if any piece isn't going to stick straight away it is going to be this little sort of tail on this on this wrap piece so again just come back to it tomorrow whenever and just restick it as soon as the slip solutions evaporated away 
um, it'll be very tacky, so you've got no problems at all. All right, there you go. Let's do the middle light bar now, and then we'll I'll do a quick demo of how it looks with the, the brake lights actually on. Okay, so onto the central light bar. Um, I've lost my work surface, so I've moved everything up on top of the truck. Um, this is kind of important. You want to use this to your benefit. Um, this piece of PPF is long. It's kind of difficult to handle. So we're going to go slowly with it. But um, first thing we're going to do is spray our hands, spray the PPF, and we do want to get it pretty well covered because we don't want it sticking to itself. And then I'm going to peel it back from the edge. Now remember there's this kind of little open mouth design. Don't know if you can see that on any of the cameras. If bring it over here, maybe you can. Um, so just be careful when peeling it back to not um, stretch it. And I'm going to peel it back about a third of the way. I'm going to spray it. Then I'm going to peel it back some more till I get to the halfway point. And you'll feel it even when you're putting it back as it gets to the camera opening. That's where we want to stop. Okay, then I'm going to just grab that, lay it back down. It's on the backer. And then do the same from this end. So again, put it back about a third of the way, spray it. Now this is the most important bit of the video because I, I want you to be able to get the piece of PPF from here onto here without any drama. So if you get bored of my voice, totally understand. But um, please just pay attention to this little bit. Okay, so that's nicely sprayed and ready to go. There we go. I'm paying some attention to making sure it stays on the, on the backer. So now we're going to spray this. So we're going to start positioning it here around the camera. We'll work out, then we'll do these bits. So to get it going, we're going to really get some good soap solution on the middle. We're going to go a little bit lighter on the ends because all we're going to do is position it, tack it up here, doesn't matter what it looks like, and then we'll finalize the installation. So with that said, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to just take this off of here, let gravity do the work, get that out of the way. So you'll see it's kind of hanging, it's kind of flapping around, it's twisting on itself. So that's why we want to make sure it's got a good layer of soap on it. And then we're just going to position it here. So obviously centered over the camera. So now you're going to be fighting gravity. So all we're going to do is just grab one end, just get it tacked up. Once I've got it positioned properly, ish. Okay, just apply a little bit of pressure up there. We just want it out of the way for now. And we don't want it, you know, touching any other part of the truck. So that's fine. So back to the middle. So now we're going to position this piece. So it sits nicely. And same, same as the uh, side lights. We want it, we don't want it really tucking underneath the, uh, the trim piece. Because again, this is very variable. So I'm going to now peel this back. And if you listen, well, well you, you didn't hear much, but it's starting to get tacky. So we're going to give it a good spray because we don't want any tack. What side is that dog hair on? It's on the other side. Excellent. I'll kick the dogs out for this because they'll drive me nuts, but they left plenty of dog hair in their wake, which I definitely appreciate. Okay, so make sure you can slide it around. I'm just going to peel this back as well. Okay, I'm going to reapply that. All right. So, now we've done that. Let's get it positioned properly. So you can see it's moving around nicely. I've got it centered over the camera, so that's a good position. Hopefully you can see that on the zoom. So um, with the ferry side, let's just work, work that out, left and right. And this is all we're doing right now. We're just locking in this piece and then we can 
kind of fix any alignment and bubbles and everything else on these left and right pieces, but it becomes much easier once you've got kind of a, an anchor, which is what this is gonna be. So for this piece here, especially, where it's kind of um, turning a pretty sharp corner to get over the edge of the, the camera, you really want to be almost brutal with it just to get as much of the water out as you can. Um, probably when you come back to this tomorrow, you'll see that it's lifted a little bit. Um, but again, just use the edge of the squeegee and it'll stick straight away. But we're just kind of, you know, knocking out as much of the water as we can to accelerate that process. Okay, so that was pretty good. So now we'll get started on the right side, just to kind of finish up. Okay, so I'm going to just peel this back again. Again, it's starting to grip, so I'm going to give it another spray. It's still a pretty warm day here and the AC doesn't do a good job of keeping up, so um, things evaporate pretty easily. So I'm going to get down to eye level, just make sure that that's tucking up against the, the trim, which it is. And I'm just going to squeegee it out. Go at a 45 degree angle, so if you do encounter any um, trapped air, then it'll just kind of work its way along the edge of the squeegee and out down the bottom, which is what we're, we're doing which is what we want. Okay, do the right side, left side. So this is actually pretty well aligned, so I don't, well, yeah, I'm gonna just put it back one more time. This is why my videos tend to go a little bit long, even though I'm rushing this install. Um, I do want you to do it right the first time. So um, as quick as I'm going, you may not think it is, but um, you go much slower, be much more thorough, especially with this stage. Um, because we're applying it over gloss black, if you do have any air bubbles trapped and not going anywhere, um, you definitely want to release those now because doing that sort of after the, after the fact is difficult to virtually impossible. So. Okay, so you can see that we've got the flat surface done. That's fantastic. So same thing, most of your soap is gonna be built up on, on this uh, sort of drip edge now. I'm gonna run my finger up there just to sort of release some of it. Give it a little knock to get a bit more off. And then again, gonna use my thumb for this. You don't have to, but just sort of deliberately um, forcing it down. So you're just stretching it a tad, but we're just making sure there's nothing caught in this sort of uh, rolled edge. Keep going all the way along. and use the squeegee. You can use the furry side as I am or the, the, the sort of white flexible side. It doesn't really matter, especially for the mat. If you're doing a gloss install, lean into the, the furrier side. It just makes sure that you don't have too many or any scratches. Now this is PPF, it's self-heating of course. So um, any scratches will just come out um, basically, if you just park it in the sun, we'll take care of, of most of the issues. Um, but if you really need to focus on an area, then just a hairdryer, just to reset the, um, the elastomere layer, and that, that gets rid of any scratches. So again, just rolling us over. Okay, then the last thing we need to do is just pop the trunk, or the, the uh, the bed tailgate, and then just roll this over. We're doing the same as we did for these pieces. Depending on how much you've um, stretched it as you've been installing it, you'll either have a little bit to roll over or, or quite a bit. It doesn't matter, this is you know out of sight, so we're not looking to cover the entire out of sight area, we're just looking to make sure we've got a nice clean wrap so that no dirt can get trapped in there. Oops, other end. As before, just kind of finger pricks, fingertips, roll it and stretch it over. 
and then just this little tail here. Which is kind of where all the water's built up, so we'll probably have to come back to that tomorrow. Let's see if I can just get it to stick just for the sake of the video. Okay, there we go. Then we're just going to grab some alcohol, not the fun kind. Just clean up the installation. And there you have it. So as I mentioned, um, when you come back to this in the morning or whenever, the next time you come back to your truck, um, look for any edges that have lifted, any little sort of bubbles, especially on these uh, rolled over sections. Uh, get rid of those. And then also on this um, little sort of cut out piece that fits over the, the camera. But that's how it looks. If I jump in the car, Grab my, I can see where I've got some, some fluid traps. So definitely take a lot longer than I have. Look down the line as well. You know, really look for wherever that fluid is. But if I just jump on the brakes real quick, I hope you can see that gives you a really cool kind of um, satin look to the back of the truck. Looks really nice. So I just wanted to do a quick close up of this. So you can see maybe on the camera, there's a few little bubbles here. Um, this is because I kind of rushed through the, the installation. So, but all you need to do, you really want to work these out. So if you find you have anything like that, once you're done with the install, just gently pull back a little bit of the PPF and then just work those out. I'm going to do that here as well. If you find that you end up stretching the PPF as you're doing this, then um, get a heat gun or a hairdryer and just apply it to the area that you've stretched. It will reset the shape completely. So it's very, very easy to, to handle. As you can see, I managed to trap quite a bit of liquid there from just rushing through it. Let's get this last bit just here. There we go. Okay, I just wanted to show you how to do that. Thanks for watching.